Thanks to procedural due process, private litigants in the United States have the right to a fair trial and, equally important, the right to the appearance of impartiality. The Fifth Circuit considered whether congressional interference with agency decision-making violated procedural due process and required reversal of the agency's order in Pillsbury Company v. Federal Trade Commission. In 1951 and 1952, the Pillsbury Company acquired two leading competitors in the baking products business. The acquisition became the focus of Federal Trade Commission, or FTC, proceedings under amended Section 7 of the Clayton Act. The complaint against Pillsbury alleged that the acquisition violated Section 7 because it tended to substantially reduce competition or create a monopoly. On an interlocutory appeal from a dismissal for lack of evidence, the FTC rejected the government's argument that any acquisition that substantially increases a company's market share is illegal per se. Instead, Section 7 required an examination of all relevant factors to determine the likely economic consequences of the acquisition in question. After finding that the government had made a prima facie showing under that test, the FTC remanded the case to the hearing officer so that Pillsbury could present its evidence. Both parties were still presenting their evidence to the hearing officer when two congressional subcommittees started holding hearings on antitrust matters. FTC Chairman Edward Howry testified at the hearings, as did the FTC's general counsel, who later became the chairman and wrote the final decision in the Pillsbury case. The Pillsbury case, or the Pillsbury name, was mentioned more than 100 times during the hearings. While questioning Chairman Howry, members of Congress forcefully voiced their own opinions that the FTC had reached the wrong decision and deviated from congressional intent in rejecting the per se doctrine. The questions were so probing as to how and why this decision was reached that Chairman Howry announced that he would have to disqualify himself from further participation in the pending Pillsbury case. In 1960, the FTC made its final decision in the Pillsbury case. The FTC found that Pillsbury's acquisition of its two competitors violated Section 7 and ordered Pillsbury to sell the two competitors. Pillsbury appealed directly to the Fifth Circuit arguing that its procedural due process rights were violated.